I, I could literally start immediately. A wee mowit. I could start immediately. A wee mowit. How you like that, dude? A wee mowit. We on, baby. Yo. Being a chubby oh. kingster is where it's at. I'm hopping around because now what? I'm fired off about big sassy daddies. What? Uh, Trump dog. So I was leaving a show. Mm -hmm. Me and Soda were leaving a show after, uh, I don't know, it was late. We're walking down the streets. Barriers everywhere. As yeah. if there's a parade. There's like those metal barriers along the streets. Mm -hmm. Cops every block, like six cops on every corner. And I was like, holy he shit. He touched dude. down? The daddy is rolling through. What? The, every time the sassy daddy goes out. He was in oh, New York? He went to his, yeah, he went to his... Trump Tower. Shit. No, who's in a fucking Biden and Obama were in Philly? Were they? Yeah, they're plotting. The best friends? The, best, BFFs? the BFFs? The BFFs, dude. They're probably here. getting ice cream and making a cool video. Probably, dude. Ugh. Doing a little swearing a little swearing in ceremony. Yeah. Grabbing fucking some kitties. Yeah. Do you think he was grabbing babes? I watched that footage, dude. He definitely was like, if I'm, that was I not con Did you see the footage where he's like his hands on a young girl's chest? Uh, I didn't see that one. Dude, there's one. There's like stuff where like it's like. Constant going in, like smelling hair, kissing girl. It's like, dude, it was fucking bizarre. And there's something he puts his hand around a girl, and a girl literally goes, it's on his her chest, and she goes and pushes his hand off. Oh, like he's taking a picture and he yeah, grabs tit? but it's like it's on. Uh, you're on a girl, and you're like a young girl, you and you're just tit. you know when your hands on a young girl. You know girl's when an tit, elbow dude. touches tit in exactly, a crowd, dude. And it's and it, there, there's so many of them to where the point where it's just kind of like. Dude, like, I don't know. I mean, if, if someone wants to def even if someone wants to defend that as if it's not conscious, it's like, that guy's not conscious of that. It's like, dude, I don't know what the fuck you guys want to yeah. say. All this right. isn't partisan. This right. isn't some partisan bluff, dude. I'm like, I watched those vids and I was just like, Jesus I hear Christ, you. bro. Someone smelled my daughter's hair. I'd be like, yo, dude, how about you fucking take it easy? <laughs> like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> like, Dude, it's fucking, it's weird, man. Dude, for a picture. <laughs> you see some dude smell your daughter's hair? You gotta be, hey, hold on, hold on. One, like, one don't guy, take his picture. What the fuck are you doing? Yeah, what, the, what, what is going The one guy actually went, like, one of the, I forget who it was, actually was like, no, here, you sit over here, and he swapped spots. Really? Yeah, dude, watch Joe Biden. Biden's a hound. Watch Joe Biden creepy compilation. Some of like, those chicks are hot, dude. Some of those the, young they're girls. They're youngsters. Some of those youngsters. Biden's got a good eye. Oh, yeah. Biden's probably, he's probably a procurer. But it's hot dogs. No, he might he might just get high on his own like supply, dude. Yeah. No, he does not like hot dogs. He likes young girls. Yeah. I forgot what what are called. they called? I think I know. I think they called in the in the memos. It was like walnuts. I think black chicks were walnuts in the memos. <laughs> I swear to God. And the I don't know what they call little girls. <laughs> hot dogs and I don't know. They probably just call them young sweet stuff. cakes. Sweet cakes, dude. Little it's a little flapjacks. Dude, you watch those videos, man. It's fucking. It is so fucking weird. Yeah, right. And I, I would love to sit down. And people are like, oh come on, that was just like curated. And I'm like, you can definitely take words out of context. If some dude's like grabbing little kids and like, I mean, if you're like, hey, come here and like give a kid like a kiss on the head, I'm like, look, I'm not you're a politician. That's like fifty percent of the job is kissing fucking little kids, but like grabbing tits dude like and he's always like when you watch him get a picture he's always getting a little gets a little girl close to him every time it's fucking weird he loves little girls yeah maybe he just really loves little girls i don't know maybe but yeah it's it's not a good look dude and i think that's going to come back you to think haunt diamond him. joe is a bit of a diddler he's something he's diddler joe i think i don't know creepy man. joe i wouldn't put it this way if i if they're like hey you mind if you watch your kid i'd be like no i'd be like i'm i'd cancel my plans i'd be like that's I motherfuckers mean, if he runs I mean, he is running, but like, if he gets through, it's that's gonna, gonna be, look bad it's on him. It's gonna be a dude. tough campaign defending yourself against pedophilia the entire time. Especially like, there's like some pretty like there's Trump, some stuff Trump on video. One hundred percent, the entire time, be like, yeah, but you grab kids. Yeah, dude. He'll call him Creepy Joe. Dude. Call, like, like, if he, as soon as he calls campaign. him Creepy Joe, it's over, dude. The whole campaign. And it's like you can see the footage. The footage is there to where it's like, eh. It's like why take a why even risk it on that? It's like eh. and also it's like because Biden the only way to fight back will be like yeah well you Donald Trump like you like raped people <laughs> Donald then, Trump you raped Donald Trump you're a fucking <laughs> rapist dude shut up they, once you start like defending your own pedophilia by going on the offensive you look yeah. like a maniac it's like well I, no I, matter I, what you're fucked a pedophilia yeah. accusation yeah man you're in the fucking doghouse <laughs> <laughs> that's a double doghouse dude. <laughs> Yeah, he's gonna back. he's gonna fizzle out real hard. He's not gonna go far. It's it's gonna be uh, burn. Burn dogs. I think, dog's Bernie, I think hat, Bernie's dude. making a run, dude. Burn dogs. Yesterday's cheese, dude. I don't think. I think he's the. I think he's the one man that he can talk shit knelt. with I mean, Trump dog. Yeah, he fucking kissed the ring too hard on HRC. He kissed which, the which ring. again, his base is you know. Dude, he might, have, he might have. like these like they'll uh, in Japan they would like raise from the time they're children to be basically like prostitutes, sweet boys. 
Sweet boy, sweet girl. So oh, have, they would get the sweet babies. They, <laughs> both. Yeah. So then the willow, the, the lady who was like the the head mistress or whatever would always talk about the willow world and like that was like something some people were just like sent into to live in and it was like in the willow world like all these rules don't apply. Like if you want a little sweet boy, they'd be like basically telling the girl. I remember at one point she was training her. She was like, they might request a little boy. They might request like a boy, and they were like. This is the Willow World. None of the real rules apply. It's totally natural. They'll go out and like go do their government post. What do you think of that? It's the Willow World. That's probably where my brother got all that inf- that fucking wisdom about That's the where sweet he, boy. Yeah, he was like, "It's the Willow World, dude. It's like it doesn't apply." Unfortunately, now it's broken down to like human sex trafficking <laughs> and like sex. <laughs> well, Trump didn't even get off the plane, dude. He just hung out. When they went when he went with the Clintons to the Willow World on that plane. Oh, on the Epstein's Island. <laughs> the Epstein. That was the Willow Trump World. Trump stayed in the fucking. Trump just hung out with the staff and yeah, fucking sure. talked shop. He was yeah exactly. Well, he only He's fucks, a man of the people. Only fucks Russian sniz. He only fucks elite Eastern Bloc sniz. Yeah, dude. He probably went down there, saw the menu, and was like, "I'm staying on the plane." Yeah. He's, He's like, probably boycotting the weird. menu. He's probably boycotting the menu. Definitely. He's probably like, "What?" He's he's a fan of big mature naturals. Trump loves big mature naturals, <laughs> dude. He was like, "Wait a second. Yeah, true. His wasn't an ethical stance. It was purely like a what they were purveying. He's like, "Well, I'm boycotting you guys. You don't have my favorite flavor, dude." In that documentary about it there's a documentary of him on netflix that like trump i think it was on a, a amc first yeah i forget there's a documentary on trump on the net there was a time where he was like calling this newspaper talking about how much sniz he got as a secretary he was like i work for mr trump he gets so much pussy put who, that in the newspaper who did that? trump was calling like the new york post or the times like let it be known and being like hey just you know I mean, he gets a ton of pussy. Probably pussy every day. His secretary relayed that? He pretended to be a secretary. And oh, it was literally, you could tell it was him. God, dude. He's calling in and being like, no, he's the man. He gets so much fucking pussy. What? Yeah. Trump's I mean, he was probably a retarded probably a, dog, dude. Yeah, he's <laughs> a retarded dog, dude. He's probably been on a daily diet of sniz, like different sniz since like yeah. 1982. Sniz and McDonald's on, on like <laughs> private jets, dude. <laughs> It's a, you can't even write it. You couldn't imagine that. Like the worst part is, I could literally imagine his face, the face he makes when he gets hit. Just like looks to the side, bo- exactly bottom lip sticks out, and he just goes. <laughs> yeah. He's got one of those faces where you can exactly imagine you can his see fucking, his cum face. Oh, well, dude, for, for sure. sure. Eyebrows Trump come down. It's on the him. same one I want to see when he gets shot. <laughs> when he drops, when he's at a podium talking shit and he gets hit, I just want to see him for one second. <laughs> And you'd hear it because he'd have a microphone. You'd hear his last, like, (laughs) it would. I mean, again, it'd be a great tragedy to lose the big sassy dog for sure. (laughs) But man, that one clip would be worth it. (laughs) All the remixes now, like, they didn't didn't exist with Jeff. Auto tune in, be like, here comes the boom. I was in a cloud of Keith. What an angel. Yeah, dude. What did she, she didn't even bat an eye, dude. She goes, eh, it happens. You it never happens. know. Everybody gets Keith in the Everyone eyes. Everyone gets fucking yeah. in a cloud of Keith in the dude, eyes. Dude, do you see Trump's calling people whose illegal immigrants kill your son or daughter? They call you a fucking angel mom. Wait, what? <laughs> he calls them angel These parents. Angel parents? What? Yeah, pretty what? great. Illegal immigrants who kill? Yeah, if an illegal kills somebody in your family, you become an angel whatever. He keeps calling them angel moms. My God. It's hilarious. <laughs> so was that even saying illegal. that in the speech the other day? He's calling them angel moms. Jesus Christ. Like, listen to these angel moms. <laughs> so if a Mexican murders your you son, instantly become you an angel. transcend into a fucking deity. You're an angel mom. Just into a demigod? You're a mom of an angel. God damn, dude. Which is dude, funny because way... chances are that's the name of the guy who killed him. And hell. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> so what? But only, and only the distinctions made for like... If an immigrant only if an immigrant, you. if your fucking kid gets murdered, you're just a fucking mom. You're just a mom, yeah. unless an immigrant did it. And then angel, you're an mom. angel mom. Dude. Damn, Trump's dude. got all the sickest branding nicknames. genius. Dude, Trump's is, got the sickest the nicknames. Most fucked up part is thinking about those ladies like hearing their angel moms and being like, "Okay, yeah, yeah, <laughs> I'm an angel mom." That's you're fun. an angel mom. I need you to stand behind me when I say build the wall. How many no, just someone murdered? said to me, like, these women, they're angels, you know? And then he was just like, they're angel moms. He just put it right together. You got to admit, his, brand, his names are fucking sick, He's dude. just He's so a good nickname, I'll give him that. He is. Lion O'Connie, dude. He's, he's he would lock you up, dude. Oh, dude. He would. He would definitely lock me up. He's a fucking angel mom, mom, dude. Yeah. Angel moms are the shit. I hope a fucking angel. When did they start? Uh, I think the first time I heard it was the State of the Union address, but he's probably got it. 
He's got it in the back pocket. He's probably been tossing it out when he's running his hour. Yeah. Across the country, he's probably been tossing it out. It's working. That's a uh, that's a sick thing to run off. Just be like, yo, there's Mexicans coming, and they're fucking raping and killing us. And then there's the other people being like, immigrants are the most wholesome people. It's like, I know. They're just fucking people. Of course, that's the they, left. Some saying. of them are raping yeah. and murdering, just like every other group of people. But they're like, no, yeah. we, we need more. No, we need to keep them out. It's like... Yeah. They're just fucking lads, bro. Just lads. <laughs> lads work. Dude. Some Let of them, them go rogue. Lad, dude. Lads, Some of them lad. go rogue. And fucking lads going lad. Yeah. I, so you think lads? Yeah, lads going lad. So you're against the wall. I love the wall. How dare you? I'm in you're gonna put a wall around lads. No, lad. I'm in the fence. Dude, you think that's gonna? That's only gonna give us the best lads. Yeah. Classic black conservative. Are you guys all? Do you guys also identify as black conservatives? Oh, I'm uh, white conservative, dude. <laughs> You're white. <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> you might not want to go down this road right now, bro. Hell yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, dude, I don't judge by color, but Jesus Christ, God Emperor Trump is fucking killing it. <laughs> Under- everyone, can, everyone can cry and be like, "Well, the one time you said that mean thing about Mexicans," but show me the clip. He didn't say show that. me the clip, dude. Play the whole clip. I, I know. Yeah, that clip. is true. They I saw don't. the clip. I watched the clip. He's like, some come over and rape. Yeah, they do. Facts. Yeah. <laughs> Straight facts, dude. Trump with big facts. Trump stays with big facts, dude. There's no way. Nobody's touching him. Do you, th- uh, you don't you think Except for the dude that's promising everybody a J. I'll take yeah, that. Yeah, I'm thinking. Who's that? Andrew Yang. Douchebag. Asian dude. Asian why, dude. Why, you, why are you calling him a douchebag? It's coming out of my neck, bro. What, what fucking neck? You're saying truckers are all going to be automated. They, they are, will. dude. They are, Get bro. forward. Get okay. done, dude. Can I do my job? Yeah, Ang's got your fucking number, dude. Your, your only choice is a form of militia and take him down. Did you listen? It's year of the bee rabbit, dude. Dude, it's I hope he thing. wins so Ooh. bad. We need this right now. <laughs> Guys who think they might have small dicks. That's a huge platform. Get a ruler. Bro. I don't know. I support, I, I support guys with small dicks that definitely act like they don't have Like Trump daddy. Yeah. Trump daddy definitely has no, a fucking no. average bird. He's got he's, a mushroom daddy. Yeah. Yeah. Stormy Daniel said it. <laughs> he has a mushroom daddy. He has the, he's got a fucking plug, dude. <laughs> She did say she man, outed him. He <laughs> owned it. She did say he had the absolute most bell shaped fucking dog yeah, in existence. And she's a porn star. But she's the fact very that desirable. A, a dick's like registering in her like encyclopedia of dicks she's seen yeah. is being like, this is the fattest head. Dude, yeah, that's a fucking fat head. And it's just a porn star being like, it's short. It's probably like seven. Damn. Yeah, and he's overweight and he's tall. True. So like you could have like there's seven another... in there, dude. Yeah. He's got another C like, five. <laughs> You might see five. There's like another two, dude. That's true. He's definitely, uh, if he, if she's putting all of her weight on him, yeah. she's getting seven. Oh yeah. And it's a fucking. It was a probably. It probably just confused her. You hit someone <laughs> with such a short bell end, dude. Yeah. It's just like. <laughs> yeah, man. I mean, dude, wow. she probably was sent to seduce him, and she he gave her the bell end, and yeah. she was like, just spilled all the deep state secrets. Yeah. She's like, oh fuck, I got to get out of here. <laughs> so fuck, I can't get over the fact that you guys. Fuck with Alex Jones. Dude, like, it's hilarious. Oh, it dude, is. It is, it is best, hilarious. Yeah. Every other best. podcast is soft right now. You guys are all right. We do our Legion right. of Skanks, no, suck you my guys dick. Are great. Luis Gomez, <laughs> suck my dick. Damn. Yeah. The Reddits are so <laughs> trash, dude. I think there could be three Sigmas in this room. Yeah, possibly. Oh, for yeah. sure, dude. I'm a, I'm a big time You're Sigma. a fucking shaman, dude. I don't like going out, man. I was going out, out sucks. Time. Going out sucks. It, like no, I like legitimately like I'm like I feel like I'm missing a big part of my life that's a social life, and then I go out somewhere social and I'm like See a bunch of coked up twenty seven year old dudes <laughs> dancing to black eyed peas at fucking what's your god. Yeah, but that's how you get bay. You gotta go out to get bay. Yeah, you do. You know what I mean? It's tough. In order to unless well, it, you can save a sex worker. That's not my plan. Yeah, I think you, <laughs> you gotta save a girlfriend, dude. I can't. Why? You can't save dude. Matt knows. It's tough. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> Trying to free him of their shackles? Freeing the girlfriend, well, there's dude. a lot of sirens too. They'll, they're, they're, part of their trick is they'll trick you into thinking you're freeing them. Meanwhile, yeah, you're just part dude. of a legion of dudes who's apparently freeing you them. You gotta read that pimp book. Yeah. Uh, oh, you have to come by with actual tricksers? supreme paper. Like, like if you're Jones, really, man. Like you gotta trick them to where you're like, okay, baby girl. You're, yeah, like, you're not you paying you got houses something going on. This. You're like, check this out. You take her to fucking Mir Lago. You fucking fly over Epstein's lair and be like, "That would be you down there." Double if it wasn't bird. for me. <laughs> Could have been you. <laughs> Could have been you. I, I saved you from Je- Epstein's. That's sick. Trump just hung out with the staff. He's such a man of the people. That's what people don't oh, yeah, understand. Dude, they think sure. he's mad about it. Yeah, everyone yeah. wants to get mad. They made about that, it. Uh, and Netflix made that like hit piece documentary about him, and he like cranks his music down in Florida just to piss off the neighbors. Because they're all rich assholes. Because they're rich assholes. Yeah. He started with What's a small music? loan of a million dollars. Anybody could have got that. Started from the bottom. What's his? Our Reddit's been fucking taken over before by Opie and Anthony fans. Yeah, they got in there a little. 
They got in there. <laughs> just to say some negative shit. Yeah, it was, it was just like it was like for like three days. It was just pictures of Trump's dick <laughs> on, on the rest subreddit. And I was like, all right, I guess hilarious. This, this is what the fucking... dude. Did you see that Trump thirty hours? No, dude, with George Stapopoulos. <laughs> it's so funny. It's nuts, dude. What, what was going on? Well, I I watched it on. I was on the elliptical and I I saw like you gotta I watch. Didn't, dude, I didn't hear anything. You gotta this. watch it. Trump talk is nuts. He's wild. He's out, so. out of control, bro. When's he coming up for re election? Like this year, right? Next year. 2020. Next November? Oh, yeah. So, like next November. Yes. So he's safe for this fall, but next fall he's going to be like. Next fall is going to be. Yeah. I mean, he already is running. True. He's been, he's, he hasn't stopped. Never stopped. But now it's just like it, it, midway through this interview, they're interviewing him outside and his makeup starts to run off and like his hair is kind of sweaty. Dude, he, he looks like blistered. What the fuck? His skin dude? is like red and shitty. Oh, it's nuts. Oh, man. And then uh, at one point, he's so excited to show Stephanopoulos the new Air Force One design. He designed he's it? like redesigning it. And he, well, like, successful he like holds it guy. up to the camera and he's like, This is it. It looks beautiful, red, white, and blue. And holds it up to the camera and like makes a face. Like he like poses for a picture with it on live <laughs> camera. It's so funny. He's like, <laughs> you have to see it there's also a part while he's talking somebody coughs and he's like start that over let's do that again if you're gonna cough go outside like yells at this dude for coughing it was like his chief of staff oh my God. he's like go outside it was clear that he gave the wrong answer mm -hmm. and like while he was giving it someone coughed so he was like cancel that let's do that again and then he gives a different answer, like a better oh, answer. But he blame he blames it on someone else. He's like, "Get the fuck out of the room if you're gonna act like that." Holy fuck! Yeah. I don't. And then of course they kept the camera rolling. Yeah, of course. To make dude. him look like a fucking dickhead. That was a th that was what was that? Two days they were with him, or yeah. thirty out thirty yeah. hours, or yeah, like roughly a day. Yeah, they were like because I I saw, I just was reading the captions. I was on the elliptical, just giving it fucking hell. Bro. And I saw George being like this. He like it was like a bunch of clips of Trump just being like. No, no, no. I think you're being a little ridiculous. This is what yeah. you do, George. This is what you yeah. do. And like, you like, act like that sometimes, and George. It was, yeah, it was George back in the base yeah. just being like, yo, guys, I did good, didn't I? And it was yeah. like, good job, George. You got footage of him acting like a dickhead. That's exactly what we need. I don't know. Dude, there was a thing of him versus Joe Biden where they both are giving speeches being like, I don't know why the other one's so obsessed with me. Oh, they're apparently obsessed with me. Dude, it's so – they're two 70-year-olds, dude, just being like, yeah, they obviously obsessed with me. It's like, dude, you old Ugh. fucking geezers. Why why are we even entertaining you? It is so I, I don't I mean, dude, I just I am just not into all these fucking septogenarians, dude. Yeah. And then <laughs> dude, wait, saying, septa septuagenarians. It's like a seven year old. I know. Is that seven? Yeah. Seventy? Septua. I don't think it's septua. Septuagenarians. It's S it's like septa with the UA instead of A. Really? I saw it in an article. I was like, what the fuck's a septuagenarian? I was like, oh that's dude. Blizz was doing. I was Wait, octogenarian eighty. Yeah, I was telling Blizz right. was doing a joke saying how he has a sex drive of an octogen octogenarian. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. But yeah, yeah dude, dude, you got to You got and he's he's so excited to show that he like redesigned the Oval Office. He's what like did he, do? he he gave it like Reagan's rug. That was pretty interesting. You get to pick your desk in the Oval Office. Like certain presidents, there's like a catalog of like twelve different desks. Where do they keep them? Which one? They, I don't know. But he got the one that. I think Reagan and JFK used to use. What? Yeah, dude. Trump daddy pimped out the fucking Oval Office. I haven't, I haven't been keeping tabs on the Oval Office like that. I didn't know. Yeah, it's I didn't know. Nice. He redid the curtains. Yeah. He just made, he's well, trying he to make it look it. like Reagan. He also, <laughs> he also had to uh, debug it. And he's all, he was like, I put, the he's like, Oval I put Office. flags in. There's a bunch of flags now in the Oval Office. He's like, really? I did that. He's like, that's pretty good, huh? <laughs> yeah, man. You got to see it. It is fucking... Yeah, man, you're the best. When his makeup starts to run... First off, in the morning when they interview him, his makeup is crazy. He has got he like goes blackface. Does he really? He goes blackface. <laughs> like That spray tan he gets in the morning is full blackface. <laughs> then he sweats it off midway through the day, and it's just disgusting. <laughs> oh, his face dude. is like blistered. <laughs> He's like talking shit. That'd be funny if journalists all stopped their bullshit and were like, damn, when did you become the fucking man? And he, everyone would start doing it to me like, uh... I mean, yeah, everybody's would, pretty cool. If everyone started like, dude, you're the fucking best, he would definitely be like... I, I he would know. love you. That would be pretty He'd funny. Like, you know what? You're the best. That's Thank why you. you're the I best. Know. If everyone started hitting him with nothing but positive vibes, it would be so funny to see how far he'd go. That'd be a fun experiment to be like, 
you have total control and there's no one say anything and let him like go about it and just pretend like, yeah, dude, what else? What else? What else should we do? And, and just not do it. And just keep how... reporting back to him dude, that it's like, yes, it's working, dude. Be... You're killing well, it. Do you ever remember that show? Uh, fuck. I was talking about it before on Netflix where the guy does these weird social experiments and uh, yeah. he convinces like someone to push someone off a building. Yes. Dude, if, if they did a social experiment on one of the presidents and like made them seem like they had like dictatorial power. Yeah. And to see how far they go, that would be fascinating, Damn. dude. To be like, yes, yes, leader. What else? What well, it's else? It's funny. Like, I'm thinking in that you would just have people like fake go up to him and be like, that worked. What else do you got? <laughs> exactly. that, was, that was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> just see what he does. But that's what happened with Mao in China. That's how like 50 million people starved to death. How? Was his, his cabinet kept giving him good news. They're like, sweet. Nobody was, everybody was afraid to tell him what was happening. What? So, like, there'd be massive food sh- shortages. And his cabinet would come in and be like, you're killing it, dude. <laughs> This is all working. And everyone the died. Best. <laughs> yeah, dude. Imagine if that—if you did that social experiment and at the very, it just end it with him just like about to nuke China. Like the crew comes out like no 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 no. Yeah, we got you. This is your. He's like what? what? He just comes out of his <laughs> like a total to power stupor. <laughs> yeah. like, what? I didn't. I didn't starve Africa. <laughs> yeah. Like nah, dude. The embargo nah, was we real. Lying. We didn't starve. The Africa. real president's laughing. <laughs> You're not even the real president. <laughs> dude, that'd be insane. The fucking Truman good show someone that hard. To be like, you're the president. Step in. You could get one of those guys, like, whoever's, like, the fifth in command, be like, all three have been taken out. You're in control. And just let them fucking run. Yeah, run dude, have, have Secret Service rush him into a bunker. Oh, my God. And be like, we just got terrorist attacked. You're the fucking head guy now. What should we do? What do we do now? Dude, that's so fucking funny. That's a sick fucking prank show. That would be. Who would you have run it? Probably the kid from Stranger Things. For sure, yeah. That kid. She's He's like, getting some heat. Who? The kid with like the weird teeth from Stranger Things. What did he do? He was he was doing a show where he like basically that show you were talking about, where he like gets people on their first day on the job, and pranks them. See how far? See yeah, how far sees go. how far they go. But people are making like a fuss about it because was it a show? These are people job that are like desperate. Job? <laughs> it's regular jobs. Like these are people that need work, and the kid from Stranger Things is pranking them. Dude, doing that in show business would be so funny. I mean, then you, then you end up with a Weinstein. This is your big break. Then it's like, what are you going to do for this part? True. You want to see an old man jerk off onto I mean, a imagine fern? Imagine doing that with uh, doing a show with young comics and doing that, dude. They would they would murder people. Yeah. You'd be like, no, seriously, Comedy Central wants yeah, you. Yeah, like, Comedy Central wants you, but you have to accuse this club owner of rape on Twitter. <laughs> okay. I mean, uh, yeah, sure. Dude. They would. I, I. You could get them to do a lot. You could get people to do a lot of shit. <laughs> Just. Putting people up against that kind of money. We could probably do that to some open micers to be guests on this podcast. We could get some. Like, dude, you want to be a guest on here? Yeah. This is what you got to do. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Write this on Twitter. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Hell yeah. We should definitely abuse our power. Here's one. I, I didn't I'm get done. I'm just waiting my power gets big enough. That's why I, <laughs> I haven't abused it yet. I want to be able to abuse it like yeah. real fucking good. <laughs> that happened to my cousin Neil. He was down Sea Isle. You know all the beach houses kind of look the same, like the newer yeah. ones? Yes. He just stumbled home, drunk from a bar, woke up in the wrong house. The guy was like, yo, bud, get out. And Dude, he, like, he got lucky. That I can, know. That yeah, can you, can get, you can get shot in the head. Horribly, yeah. Yeah, horribly. There's people waiting for that shit. Oh, yeah. There's people like, you fucking get in my house? I'll, yeah. I'll get my kill. Oh, my yeah, we were just saying, finally come. We were just saying Fox News is the most viewed. Those yes. are the guys waiting. Yeah. Yeah. You watch Fox News every day, you're like, someone's coming in. Yeah, eventually, because on Fox News, like, hey, someone's coming in. Yeah, on Fox yeah. News every day, they're like, uh, MS-13 is definitely coming to your house. Yeah, you hear that noise outside right now? That's, that's MS-13, a, that's, it, that's them. Yeah. That's them. Although MS-13 is scary. Terrifying. Yeah, we, I'll, we should I'll kill give them. it to them. I'll give it to them. Those are scary fellows. Yeah. They're up to no good. Bad characters, dude. Bad hombres. <laughs> <laughs> dude, did you see his tweet today? No. Where he's like... like uh, He's like the king of talking shit. Oh yeah. And at the last sentence, he's like, "But good news, your your favorite president is doing great." Or yeah. Something. He called himself your favorite, <laughs> your favorite president, president, which is, <laughs> dude, he's like dude. Floyd Mayweather, because he's cocky. Everybody mm. wants to knock him out. He's retarded. But he, but everybody needs him. Everybody wants him in the game. And he's kind of crushing it, dude. He's kind of killing it right now. If you look at. Dude, talking. If anyone else talked to North Korea right now and like walked away and like, yeah, we're gonna slowly denuclearize everyone. Like, holy fuck. Yeah, yeah. He is killing it on paper. Just but for the re- for the record, I don't know anything about politics, mm-hmm. but I but I believe you. So I'm just gonna have to go with that. But I don't see. I my problem is so many people talk shit about him, mm-hmm. and I'm like, all right, well, what's the what's the thing he's doing bad? Yeah. Like, well, he's racist. I'm like, 
all right, well, what's the other thing you got? Yeah. It's always like that yeah. thing. Which is a seven year old white guy. It's like, yeah, okay. Yeah, right. And Next. Is he actually racist? Like, has Dude, he that's, done I'm not anything kidding. I hate to sound ignorant. Actually... Like has there ever been proof of him doing something racist? That's all. I'm just asking. I mean, I know there's proof we're of him three, saying, we're three white guys we're yelling three. at me. Oh, oh, God this. damn it. <laughs> you guys are going to get soft on me now after 89 no, episodes. No, I'm not getting soft. <laughs> 89 no, episodes. I just, agree. I agree. I'm just saying, we're just, this is a classic snare of three white guys fucking whispering into a well. It's like, no, he's, of course he's not, dude. I, I guess. <laughs> of course he's not. Listen, somebody could come along and be like, here's the thing he did that was racist. And I'm like, oh, yeah, just because I don't follow politics. Yeah. But I feel like I, I, I see the headlines enough. Mm-hmm. That I'd be like, oh yeah, that thing he did where he was like, where he like said the n word three times yeah. in a sentence. Like, <laughs> where yeah, Michael yeah, yeah, Richards, where he yeah. Papa John. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. If he Papa John on one of these, like fucking. Well, my thing is the biggest threat is nuclear weapons. Supposedly, you know, people yeah. worry about. They're like, I'm not worried about them. They have dude. A nuclear, we did a whole war about going in to get the W. Dan, you pronounce every letter of that fucking word. <laughs> nuclear, 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 <laughs> nuclear. <laughs> That's like the biggest fucking threat is nuclear weapons, and it's like, oh, yeah, yeah. If you go to the two biggest nuclear threats and you're like, yo, let's chill and fucking trade together, that's a victory. Yeah, and but you see like, pictures of him fucking... with those dudes like... Yeah, dude. It's like, I don't know, maybe, maybe he's <laughs> fucking fine and he's rain man his way through Also, those, you know? he's probably just as nuts enough to go talk to these guys and they're like, yo, you're making a lot of sense, bro. And he's like, yeah, thanks, later. Uh, uh. Yeah, yeah. Like, if I just sit with Kim Jong-un and just being like, so, uh, <laughs> you have bombs that can blow up the world? He's like, yeah. And you're like... Okay, I would totally yeah, shit out. Yeah, Trump's like, you're really impressive. I <laughs> yeah. you guys are such a strong leader. Well, I would go, I get absorbed into people, like, someone that has that much personality, <laughs> I'll just get absorbed into their personality, so I'll leave, and like, you told them about the shit they did? I'll be like, ah, yeah. I'd be in there like, wait, what, dude? That's crazy. So your dad was a general? Okay, that's cool. He's like, so you executed your uncle that was a general? It's well, like, he was yes. a threat. It's like, wow, dude, I wish I could do that. <laughs> yeah. You're fucking powerful as fuck. <laughs> what do you, how do yeah. you feel about the media? Kim Jong's like, I don't. I don't have media. I shut the media off. He's like, "Fuck, dude. Yeah, you're the best. We should stop this. We should stop yeah, fighting." Next thing you know, they're fucking playing basketball <laughs> yeah. together. Like, this is what's up. I think I might move to North Korea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Trump definitely does envy, like Putin, for that. Like for Putin to just be able to do whatever he wants. Yo, who and, like do- get away who, with shit. Who doesn't, dude? Me. I value fucking liberty. I yeah, value, you value the liberty press, dude. You I need love liberty. the press. If you have the ability to I love the be press. a fucking autocrat, you would do anyone would do it. No. Anyone would be an autocrat. No. Yes, they would. I'm like George Washington, dude. <laughs> I'm just here to So you just have like, some slaves on the low and just fucking... Yeah, I'm going to fucking get some slaves. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, this is one thing. I checked uh, Vegas has odds for the next president, mm-hmm. and it shows who... Because Vegas is pretty good at that. Yeah. At, like, who, who's going to actually win. Mm-hmm. And when you see the Democrats, who they could trot out, yeah. it's like, holy fuck, Trump's 100% going to win. Who are you working with right now? There's no one. Yeah. There's literally no one. Yeah. The, He's definitely going to win. Again. There's yeah. like Alec Baldwin has a better chance of becoming sure. president. He has better odds than like Hillary Clinton. If like, he ran and crazy. debated Trump playing Trump's character, that would he be might pretty win. well. That would be might pretty win. fucking yeah. funny. That would be funny. <laughs> that would be so fucking funny. Dude, him debating Trump as Trump, that would be fucking great. Wrong. Like two guys just going wrong, wrong. Trump, like would, Trump would stay in the pocket. Oh, oh dude, yeah. He Trump would be like, remember those voicemails when you called your uh, daughter a pig? A He's like, that's the only thing I agree with you on. Your daughter is a pig. <laughs> Dude, we dude were, he would he would fucking box oh him. Oh my in. god, he'd be he like, yeah, yeah I can do this all day. Yeah, I'm the president, dude. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> How are your sons doing? Your sons are losers. Bi- <laughs> Biodome sucked. <laughs> Total failure. Ruined Pauly Shore's career. Pauly Shore was a great American. He's actor. my new running mate, Pauly Shore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we were talking about that when uh, when those like you see ten female comics in a row that night. We were watching stand up oh, and. Yeah. Uh, it was, and every single one of them was like, ah, Donald Trump, fucking orange idiot. We were like, dude, if Trump walked out, oh, and dude. like if Trump got to re- rebuttal, like had a rebuttal against every one yeah. of these comics, he would murder them. Especially yeah. if it was a black crowd. Dude, if oh he came God. out, oh my if God. a bunch of women came out and were like, ah, I'm sick of Donald Trump, and he came out and he was like, I don't know if you heard that fat turd talk about me, but that was like, <laughs> oh, shit. Ooh, 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 ooh. Dude, the fucking, the ceiling would crack. It would, oh the God. laughter would block Dudes running up and down tickles. the aisles. <laughs> yeah. yeah, dude. I've, Dude, I'm telling you, man, it's like, I've always been really apolitical, too, but it's like, I didn't, I never, when he was elected, I was laughing more so, like, ah, yeah, it was like great. All, every, it was a yeah, funny shitty, fucking night. Yeah, it was funny to see, like, comedians cry and be like, Jesus Christ, shut the fuck up. But, it, yeah, it's one of those things where now I'm like, 
I'm, I'm rooting for this guy. And it's weird that it's come to that, that I'm actually, when he, when he actually ran, I'm like, whatever, we have the fucking, some weird guy as president. Now I'm like, this dude's so fucking Well, it funny. got to the point where you had, to, everybody forced you to pick a side. Yeah, it's yeah, weird, right? right? Everyone was forced and to pick a, a side. And you're a stupid racist if you picked his side. And Which think, makes me want to pick him. Well, right, exactly. It's like, you know, you can say that. Because I'm a stupid racist. <laughs> well, if you call people stupid long enough, the only thing they can do is vote. And it's like, well, that's a fucking, that's an easy way to get whoever the fuck they want to be. Yeah, it's like, oh, the people that kept calling us stupid for the last five years, and if we vote, they they cry. Yeah. I'm going to vote. Just, a, just for that one night. <laughs> yeah, where just like, for oh one night God. where they're sobbing. Well, it's weird, too, because I always tell people, like, I've never voted before, and they're like, what? How could you? And it's like, I just never did it. Never felt like it. Yeah. Never been to jury duty. Never voted. It's like, I just don't do that stuff. Yeah, I got that that's jury just a duty. part of my life I just don't do. I got it. Shane's secret podcast. We call that the Old Testament. Back when every episode was pure gold with Shane Gillis, our big kahuna, and Matt McCusker bringing the heat every time. Every episode was a non-stop laugh fest, the kind that kept you hooked and coming back for more. Shane and Matt were on fire, and so were we. But now, it's a different story. What used to be a comedy powerhouse is now just another cash grab. Half the time Shane's not even there. Instead, we get Matt's unfunny fart friends, guests, and Lamar. The stoner producer who can't get anything right. The spark is gone, replaced by mediocrity and degeneracy. I'm very, very well connected. You are officially blacklisted for smashing my wife again. Show some respect. Lamorp's a mess, a stoner who shouldn't be anywhere near a mic. And Matt's so-called friends, they make watching paint dry look exciting. It's like the world stopped turning, the red-hot energy faded to a rusty haze, leaving us with a shell of what MSSB used to be. But fear not, we're here to keep the spirit of the Old Testament alive. We're all about those legendary moments, the laughs and the killer chemistry that made MSSB great. Will the pod ever return to its roots? origin, its fan base, I do not know, nor do I dare to hope, but wherever there is darkness there will be the light to meet it. Welcome to the channel where the Old Testament lives on, relive the magic of man, the genius of Shane Gillis and Matt McCusker. Enjoy my brothers, enjoy. Thank you.